everyone, reflected here. Please join me as I have a first look at Hitler's new aircraft carrier, the USS Foresto. Delivering on their word, Hitler is giving it for free to everyone who owns the F-14 Tomcat. Spoiler alert, it could easily be a separate module, it's that good. Just like Bio taught us in the Zone 5 campaign, let's make a list of goods and others. I'll start with the others first because there are so few items in that column. The most obvious one is that it doesn't have any animated deck crew. I really like that feature on the super carrier, it makes the deck feel alive. However, you can easily populate the deck with static deck crew and that also does the job just fine. The only feature I really miss is the yellow shirt guy helping me line up with the catapult and taxi to the shuttle, but oh well, I can just use external views. There are some very minor bugs such as catwalks and the LSO platform not having a collision model and the static guys are falling through them. The optical landing system lights should be like, also fine-tuned a bit. The datum lights are too bright compared to the ball and they are visible from the side too. I find the lights are also a bit too bright at night. I would also appreciate a little fine-tuning of the deck's friction. It can't seem to taxi the time gets slow enough. All these are minor problems that may or may not be addressed very soon. And they are negligible when you compare them with the goods. First and foremost, it looks amazing. Never ever have I seen textures so damn realistic in a simulator. Ever. I mean, I know, it's Hitler. They already set the bar pretty high with their uh, Tomcat's cockpit textures, so my expectations were high, but it still blew me away. Look at the color, the perfect shade. I always said the Super Carrier was unrealistically light. Carrier decks are much darker. Then the weathering. I can't imagine how much work went into it, but it's photorealistic. That's not just the colors, but the rough mat and the normals too. The way the light breaks on the deck, the tiny cracks and imperfections, that completely blew my mind. Hitler also released a set of new deck vehicles. We've already had some, but those are modern ones painted white, whereas these are the older yellow ones that fit 1970s, 1980s scenarios much better. I've already updated my two Tomcat campaigns, both Fear the Bones and Zone 5 with these. Minor change, but details like this mean a lot to me. They also released a handful of nice VF-11 and VF-31 skins that served on the Forestal. But for this video, I'll use my own VF-31 skin. Keep an eye on my channel because I'll soon have some great news about my Tomcat skins. Last but not least, it's old. If you know me, you know that when it comes to aviation, I like older stuff. Piston engine warbirds, analog Cold War jets without fly-by-wire. The Forest still fits the picture perfectly. I mean, its first deployment was in 1957. It fought in the Vietnam War and it was decommissioned in 1993. I mean, look at that smoke. It's diesel powered. I've read stories about how even the water tasted like diesel on these ships. Also, when you move from the super carrier to the Forestal, the difference in size is astonishing. There's so little space on the deck compared to the Nimitz class carriers. Everything is more narrow and hey, you really have to work on your lineup when bringing the Turkey aboard. Look at this, the number 4 catapult doesn't even have a JBD because there's nothing behind it. Well, screw the LSO, right? I admire those who served on this ship. They had very little space to work with and had to move the aircraft around a lot for launches and recoveries, I guess. All in all, it fully matches the standards set by Hitler's F-14 and I think it looks much more realistic than the Super Carrier. That alone makes up for the lack of some other features, in my opinion. I can't wait for the A6 Intruder so that I can put some of those on the deck. I'm also looking forward to the Ranger, so that I can fly my VF-1 and VF-2 jets in a proper setting. Again, it's a free update for all Tomcat owners, but if it was a separate module, I'd gladly pay for it, without hesitation. Go try it yourself, I'll put a link in the description so you can download this mission. 
Now, let's fly a lap around the boat, shall we? There is a friendly, five o'clock, one mile. That three wire was more beautiful than Meg Ryan.